Thank you. It's so hard. Hey, is Sandrock always like this? Heck of a storm, huh? I can barely open my eyes. Well, hey there, Sandrockers. LMG here. Welcome back to my time at Sandrock. And as the Sandrock turns, oh, Penny, Penny, Penny. Come once again in our lives once again. Now, we almost left Phyllis in the first my time at Portia for a penny. But I have advanced, so we've already done one playthrough through this, so I know it is not to be. Maybe the next game, we shall see. You live around here? I've just arrived from Highwind. Gonna stay in Sandrock for a while. I got room in my place. Oh, oh, I can't help penny, it. by the way. I gotta say, I'm happy to be here, but I didn't expect the welcome to be so sandy. Hey, I'm also from Highwind. Oh, that's awesome. I really love staying in Highwind. You see, I'm on my journey from Barnarok to Walnut Groove with my trusted... Huh? Where's my guitar? There are pieces of it over there. It's not broken, is it? Uh, this darn wind! I can't even open my eyes! Uh, where do you need to go? I'll take you. Really? You're an angel. Is everyone over here as nice as you? No, I'm just the nicest one. I heard about there's a place called the Blue Moon Saloon. It would be great if you can take me there. I can definitely do that. Thanks so much. If it weren't for you, I would have found myself at the bottom of some canyon. My guitar. It's completely broken. What am I going to do? Howdy, little missy. Uh, if you come to Sand Rock, gotta be prepared for the sandstorms. But I can't help but notice from here, uh, you got one of them weak light wood guitars. Bringing that kind of guitar here, it ain't gonna last you longer than a few days at most. When I started playing, I uh, bought myself a similar guitar from Walnut Groove, uh, real fancy like, uh, broke in three days. My little Elsie wasn't born back then, so I had a little change to spare. Uh, went over to show them how to play real music a few times, I tell you. Uh, their guitars sure look fancy, but they'll set you back. I'm gonna regret this, but let's go. I think it's about 13 guitars I've had now. Uh, 14? Hmm. There was Nancy, uh, Petunia, Doris, Boris. <coughs> Excuse my friend here. He can play a mean riff, but he's been known to ramble a lot. Are you guys a band? I'm a musician too. Uh, if my guitar isn't broken, I'd love to play together. Seems like you're real passionate about your music. Cooper's got a point though. A verbose point, but still, Zan Rock's a real airy place. If you're gonna have these kind of thin wood guitars, they aren't gonna last a long time. They'll deform and crack. When you build your next one, it's probably good to keep that in mind. You know, it's good to meet someone who's got an ear for music. Uh, ain't a lot of folks around here that really know their stuff. Uh, me and Hugo got a little something cooking. Uh, wanna hear it? Oh, really? Sure, I'd love to. No, no you don't, Penny. No, you don't. Well, what do you think? I... I think I died for a second there. I'm not really sure. It's really... Unique. I didn't expect those chord progressions. Unique? <sighs> I know what that means. It means you don't like it. Ah, come on, Coop. She ain't from around here. She's not used to our music. She never says she doesn't like it. Don't be so sensitive. I was taught a man's got to speak his mind. That goes for you, young Missy, as well. And Hugo, if you think you know what she's thinking, why don't you go play her a tune on your piano? Ugh, not this again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, let me play you something I've been working on. Can I use your... Huh? Uh, why is it so soft? Uh, where's your passion, girl? I think it's nice. Sounds like the stuff the kids are listening to these days. 
look, kids ain't got a clue what real music is, I tell you. They're just listening to that boom, boom junk. Half those kids can't even read music. You can't even read at all, Coop. I thought Penny's tune was nice. Thanks. When I get a new guitar, I'm going to play you all the best songs in the world. All right. <laughs> Builders just being nice. Lots of young people go for hyperbole these days. I'd like to see you try. Best song in the world? <laughs> it ain't you proclaiming it. It's got to come from other people's mouths. Uh, right. Oh, uh, come on, Coop. You're being real harsh to her. She just wants to play music. We should be supporting her. How about we have a little friendly competition? It's on. It's the only way to settle this. How about this then? Let's take some time to prepare a song. Then get everyone in town to be the judges. Um, mister, I've actually only been composing music for a little while. And I don't have any songs of my own. Can I adapt a tune I really like? Of course you can, Missy. Hey, uh, use all of them famous songs and mash them together if you like. Don't bother me none. By the way, young lady, what's your name? Uh, of course. Where are my manners? I'm Penny from Barna Rock. I'm Hugo, and this rambling old fogey is Cooper. We're a band, Kugo. It's lovely to meet you, and I'm really excited to get this competition underway. But... My guitar. You got lucky, Missy. Standing next to you there is one heck of a builder. I tell you, since Builder came to town, things have changed around here. Anyway, I'm sure you're going to be able to get a new guitar made in no time with Builder's help. Right. Come on, Coop. We better get to work. Kugo's reputation's on the line. Is it true? You're a builder? Can you help me with the guitar? I've got to leave it I to me. I think Cooper and Hugo are right. I probably need a sturdier guitar if I'm looking to make a career out of it. Sand rock's really dry, so it'll easily warp and crack the wood of a normal wooden guitar. But I don't want to abandon the aesthetic and feel. Can you help me make an acoustic guitar with some sand and wind resistance without changing the sound? You need a recipe design, right? That's how you builders do things. Maybe it'd be good to ask a local carpenter, see if they have any ideas. I'm not our local carpenter, anything but that. Thank you so much. Oh, all right, Penny. Okay. Let's go talk to Riri. Luckily, everybody should be inside at the moment. Hey, Debbie. Gonna go wake the husband up. Riri! Riri, come on. Up, up, up. Come on. Get up. Hey, what's up, homie? I'm just catching up on an order from last year. Almost done. Just about half left now. now you want an acoustic guitar that's resistant to sand rock's weather? That's a big ask, buddy. I, mean, I got loads of recipes for guitars, but like, to make them as tough as you want? Sheesh, that is some serious wood you're talking. We're talking primo wood. I'm saying air-dried, drought-resistant, knock-on wood. I I'm spitting A-grade, hyper-tough. You get the idea. Look, I can't do it because I've got that thing. You know, that real debilitating thing that, huh? You'll do it yourself. <laughs> oh, well, why didn't you say so? Yeah, here, take the recipe. Oh, well, okay, nice. good talking to you. I gotta get back to completing that order. Okay, so I see wood planks, two silver wires. Uh, we should be able to get that done today. Might need to go get the wood though, we'll see. And money-wise, we need, what, 260,000? Yeah, we're, uh... We get the final land upgrade, we're, uh... Gonna need a little bit more cash. Hey, Merle. Let's get going. Got a lot on our plate today. Hey! 
Uh, Pablo. Thank you, Pablo. A little rough. But all right, I'll take it. We've got stuff. What do we got for commissions today? Uh, I will take that. Canvas, I'm not really going out that way. I'll just do that one, but otherwise, yeah, let's get to work. Let me check these real quick. We don't have any water at the moment, but it's sitting at 85%, so that's pretty good. Lovely. And I get me some planks. I need two silver wire though. Okay. I want silver wire from you. That should be everything we need. Okay. I oh, need more wood anyway, so maybe we'll go get some. Let's go see Heidi first, and then maybe yeah, we'll go get some of those play, uh, Yasia yeah, wood. And then come back. Howdy, Heidi. Howdy, ho. Hmm. Hey, alright. And I'm stuck there. Come on, Merle. There we go. Slightly embarrassing. Yeah, let's just we got a couple hours to kill, then let's go do that. Jubbly. Oh, we got some enraged though. All right. <laughs> Little chunky. Okay. We do get a couple civil tokens from that. Oh, and I got some wood from that too. Very nice. That should be the tree right there. It's the only place we can actually get this. Lovely. So let's I get a little bit more. The petrified wood. You know why we're here. I think that's just hardwood because that was a little too easy. Also, was there anything on the schedule today? T meeting at six. Okay. I thought we had a meeting today. I just want to make sure we didn't blow that off. We got a prom, Penske? That's what I thought. And done. Another tree. Well, let's say no to that. All 
Alright, Merle, let's just check the area around. There might be one more, two more trees to get. Ah, uh, we'll get some titanium scrap, too. Job well done. Yeah, let's head back. I do want to check that side area when we get back for opals, so I'm pretty sure that's been uh, broken for a while because I haven't had any spawn and seems like forever. Quite a few updates ago. Not a deal breaker for me, but it is slightly. Annoying that it's not, we can't farm that whenever we wanted to. It's fun in about a week later. You farm and come back a week again, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not at all. It's not horrible to go out to the desert to get that stuff anyway. Alright, Merle, we ride. I didn't know Penny was coming back, but I just wasn't sure how soon. I know it was coming up. Let's see, Katori, not a lot of people will be out today except all these tourists. So many tourists. So many. What is the price today, by the by? Minus 1%, okay. Okay, now I just need to make that guitar. Can I make that a better guitar? Not that we're gonna get paid or anything, but I just I'd try. I'd imagine no. Kind of a quest item, but... Now we got too much stuff in there. That's all right. Let's go get that guitar. Maybe charge a little extra for same day service. Wow, you're finished already? Let me try. It sounds the same, but it's clearly a much stronger wood. It's amazing. I love it so much. Thank you. I'm going to go and prepare my song. It's the best song in the world. Just you wait. Oh, thank you. Didn't actually have to pay me, but I'll take it. Hmm. Hmm. I'll share a recipe with you, Owen. All right. We have a little time. Let's see about office furniture for Tori. We'll be speeding up this. Let's play just a tad bit. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna do too much grindy grind. Not the second time around, anyway. Okay. I think everything is purple now, too. I think I took care of that. Yeah, okay. Got a little time, why don't we go get... Yeah, some scrap. It's right there, it's easy. No problem there. Ah, 
I also kind of wonder what the Civil Corps is doing today. Oh, it's four o'clock. It's at six o'clock. Why do I have to be two hours early to the... No, I'm getting this. Two hours early to the meeting is kind of insane. Come on. Okay. I guess we'll go to the meeting, though. in. Like I thought, yeah. Hello there. Heidi has the same thoughts as me on weather like this. We're both... See ya. Good talk. Yeah, if you show up early, there's no point because you didn't start till six anyway. Hey, Jensen. Hey, hey, Katori. Another sandstorm. Probably best you. Can I get for you? I don't really have. I don't think anything you love. How about some tea leaves, though? Oh, thank you. That was that was not good. Not a good choice. I got a there, there, and that a boy, you know. Okay, we'll throw some stuff away. Oh, and I was going to check. I forgot to last time. Go check since they, water was supposed to be a lot more abundant now. What are the water prices? I thought it was like the first one's always pretty reasonable, but we want any more after that. It's always really expensive. Like it gets phenomenally worse as you go. Merle, you are not meant for steps. Yeah, let's just see. So that's 25, 130. And then if I wanted that, that's... You know, I'm gonna spend that. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is much more reasonable prices. Okay, now it's 6 o'clock. Should be right on time. Good evening, everyone. It's nice to see so many wonderful faces here tonight. I wanted to invite you to discuss the future of Sandrock without being crammed into the stuffy city hall this time. With the recent opening of the road to Portia, we have access to water like never before, as well as being able to finally increase our access to trade and tourism. All of this was only made possible thanks to the efforts of everyone here at our wonderful town. So, I would like to propose a toast to Heidi, to the Builder, to everyone, to Sandrock! To, to Sandrock! Sandrock. Alright, cheers! Recently, I have been soliciting the opinions of Sandrockers regarding the future development of our town and infrastructure. This time, I'm glad to see everyone's excited about our future for once. We have a couple of proposals to go through tonight. So, without further ado, it is with great pleasure I introduce our wonderful Mian and Zeke to discuss theirs. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Recently, I have been working with Zeke on a plan to plant a forest in the Ufala Outback that could block the sandstorms from Sand Rock almost entirely. We've already demonstrated some success with the little woods near Gecko Station, but with portion water, we'll be able to scale up substantially. But I'm not the expert here, so Zeke can explain everything in more detail. Zeke? Uh. Uh. Don't worry, just go over it like we rehearsed. You can do it. Right. Sorry. Just a little nervous. Been a while. <clears throat> 
the Eufaula out back in the north is, uh, really big. It's got lots of land and sand. If we plant trees there, they can stabilize the terrain and stop the runoffs. Economy? This isn't some small project, though. Uh, it'll probably cost City Hall a lot of money. No, sorry. Didn't mean to say that. Talk about how it'll help Sandrock. Right, uh... If we use more water from Portia, we should be able to maintain a large enough forest in the outback to lessen or even stop the sandstorms. We, uh... We'll finally get a sustainable sand rock. And there you have it. No Go more sandstorms? A lot of money. Thank you very much for the presentation, Mian, Zeke. We've been discussing this possibility for a very long time. Now that we finally have the know-how and Mr. Musa's backing, we might just be able to pull it off. Do you have a more detailed plan? What do we need to do first? Oh, well, I guess I want to do a test planting on the Outback Sands first. The sand over there is drier, and the water table is much lower. For that, we'll need a small irrigation tower in the area. Good idea with the test. I'll expedite a budget for that. Does anyone else have something to say about this proposal? Oh, I'll build the tower. <laughs> Makes me proud to see a guild member being such a go-getter. Shut up, boy. I knew <laughs> I could kidding. count on you. I'll help I'll out as well. Him. Thank you, Builder. Commissioner Wei. Thank you all. I just miss Yan is all. Now, on to our second proposal. Uh, Heidi, if you please. Good evening, everyone. To the natives here, do you remember Miss Bliss? Yeah, me too. She was the best darn teacher this side of the Alliance. And I am who I am today because she pushed me to always do my best. We don't have that for our children today. We haven't had a school since a sandstorm blew down the old one. I'd say it's about time we built a new one. I yeah, Bliss put this? the fear of light in me. So I've got a proposal. It's been sitting there the whole time since our old minister, whose name I shall not mention, took off. Pretty literally, her destroyed house is just sitting there. Perfect location for a school. Wow, that's so great! When do we start the PTA? I'll volunteer for everything! Can Elsie go back to school? Pa, I ain't a kid. Uh, I think it goes without saying that I fully approve of this proposal as well. In fact, I've already submitted a job advertisement for a school teacher. Yes! This school project and the new forest will be our town's primary focus going forward. I think if we can achieve both, we'll finally get more people to settle here. Folks, we're really close now. We stand ready to do our part, ma'am. Right, everyone? Yep. I'm gonna set this. Let's do it to it. This team is so reliable. I feel like we could build anything if we put our minds to it. Yen's never praised me before. This is going to be a lot of work. I'll spread out the assignments amongst us after I have a talk with Heidi. We'll all pitch in together and get that school looking like the pride of the Eufaula. I never used to believe in good and evil twins, but here you are, proving us all wrong. Anyway, I hope the meeting was useful in letting y'all know a bit more about what's in store for us. I'm still open to more proposals, so if you have ideas for Sandrock, please bring them forward. Let's do our best for our city-state. So let's leave it there for tonight. Everyone, eat up. Owen went out of his way to give us a real feast for tonight. And remember... Kassar! Okay, very nice. We've got some Trudy you know, Adora. Lately... I've been thinking about Matilda. Although she was a Devosian agent, she used to be kind and pleasant to everyone. Her speeches at the fireside chats were often inspiring. At the time, I was envious. I thought, that's what a mayor should be. Thank you. <laughs> it's not an easy job, 
but I'll always try to be the best mayor that the Sandrock citizens deserve. Anyway, even though I don't approve of Matilda's actions, I can still learn from her qualities. I think in the future, I need to be more confident when communicating with our citizens, so that they can be assured that things are getting done. I have a lot of room for improvement in this area. I'll work hard and figure it out. Okay, let's see if we grab Zeke real quick. I don't know if there's more people still inside. I saw, I saw Zeke leaving, so... And so, my fellow sand rocker, I begin my proposal as many famous proposals have begun with the beginning. Someone once told me that the dictionary defines beginning as the point in time or space at which something begins, or something like that, and I believe that time is now. Friends, sand rockers, countrymen, lend me your ears. For too long has our train station stagnated in development. <laughs> sure, we gave it a touch-up when Musa came by, but how long has that been? And certainly if Musa likes trains, everyone should like trains. For it was four scores and seven minutes ago that I began to have a dream. Uh, that of a new attraction being birthed quite literally unto our fine citizens. An attraction with the power to revitalize attentiveness towards our town. And so I say, ask not what trains can do for you, but what you can do for trains. The answer is simple. We somehow crossbreed the martel duck and the yakmal in order to produce the super flying yakmal. <laughs> we ain't gonna lose to them winged buffaloes up north. <laughs> what you can do for trains being uh, agree to my proposal of building a high-speed bullet train for Sandrock. <laughs> In addition to being a spectacle, this bullet train will produce milk on a level never before conceived by imagination. Yes, just imagine the joy of traveling to and from Sandrock riding on a super yak mail. What'd, What'd you, you say? say? Hey, that's, that's my, my idea. idea. Uh, what's the big idea there, pal? I'm speeching over here. You got your train speech and my yakmal speech. What do you mean? I was just minding my own business when you got your yakmal and my train speech. <laughs> There's too much on my plate for me to listen to this. Good. We got too many cooks in the kitchen as it is. Both I never got to speech. say that before. Together. Oh, that was kind of relieving. Wow. I'm usually too nice. How you holding up, Cat? Not like you to be so quiet at meetings like this. What gives? Yeah, I've got some ideas, but I'm just mulling them over a bit. You know, not everything has come up space for me lately. I'm thinking I need to slow down and think things through first. Need a friendly ear? Ah, <sighs> all right. Let's see. I've been thinking about my entrepreneurial career so far, and... Go on. You remember how I always talk about Katori World, right? It's always been my dream to... Build a uh, world with your name on it. I actually wanted to pitch the idea to Musa, you know? But when I was talking to him while he was in town, something he said stopped me. He questioned if I was fully committed to my business. I wanted to answer, of course I am, but then I'm not so sure. And that got me thinking. My entire goal coming out here was to create a better life for my son, but I sure am doing a terrible job at it. I like as her, as her girlfriend, I would not somehow know that. You've done your best, Katori. That's right. Don't let Musa get to you. Thank you, Builder, Heidi. But I'm afraid. 
Afraid that I'll never have time for my son anymore. Or that whatever I try next will fail and you'll all be in for a big disappointment. That's why I didn't give Trudy anything this time. I mean, he's almost probably out of the house. He's almost can drive now, so... You're almost off the hook, Katori. Okay. You just take your time. You'll figure it out. We'll always be here, ready to lend a hand. Thanks, guys. I needed the pep talk. Okay. Very nice. What else we got over here? Rocky, now that we're getting a school, we'd better get prepared. I'm so excited. Getting prepared? Getting prepared for what? Oh, you know, textbooks, study materials, stationaries, and it's never too early to start gracing up some connections. I'm gonna start writing to the Vincent Design Institute's admissions office. Oh, yeah, that sounds, uh, cool. Say, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't your baby not even out yet? <laughs> Brave Rocky. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. There's no such thing as too early. Most parents of children at Pebble's age already got their kids' education all planned out. It's much easier to win the race if you get a head start, don't you know? Uh, win the... race? You, you think? Yeah, I just messed with them now. Yeah, you get it! Rocky, take some notes here. Preparation is key. I don't know, you two. I don't think I can really abide by all that. Better safe than sorry. Okay, all right, what else we got? Logan, did you get to talk to Trudy about that outpost idea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw you talking to Trudy before the meeting. How'd it go? She's still thinking about it. Huh? What do you mean she's thinking about it? Spit it out, Logan. Well, she didn't outright say yes. She asked me what I want to do. I said protect Sandrock, hunt monsters, maybe get a lookout tower built. She said, sure, write up a proposal. Sure? That means yes. Good going, Yak Boy. Yeah, <laughs> glad Trudy liked your idea. Somehow you don't seem all that pleased, though. Thing is, writing up plans? I ain't good at that. Ah, uh, you don't want to write it? I guess I could try, although my handwriting has been the subject of criticism at times. Come on, you guys are overthinking it. Just write exactly what you mean. Trudy wouldn't ask you to write something up if she wasn't seriously considering it. And who knows, you might even find that writing out your ideas will give you new insights. Well, when you put it that way, yeah, alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let me know if you need help. Okay. Well done. Did we get to Zeke in time? Oh yeah, it's only six, really. Yeah, but he's already back home. Okay. I'm Merle. Let's head out. Not cut down trees. I was just thinking about poor Miguel, too. He's still in jail. Well, he did commit treason, but I guess he's gonna sit in there a while. Let's head on down. How is he? I was nervous because usually Trudy handles all the talking in a presentation. And good talk, Zeke. Good talk. All right, Merle, we're out of here. Nah, I think we'll let that go. Okay, let's take the machines real quick and probably we'll call a little bit early. Take trees. Only you can prevent. Probably run this off in just one episode because it's kind of been a long day, really. 
Penny coming to town. Things are looking up for Senrock and all of a sudden the... When you get really close to the fence, it stops. Weird. All right. Let's let you go in. Let's see about scrap real quick. I just keep this running, no biggie. Okay, and dynamite. How we doing, Match Bear? Greetings, Master. Yes, Master. Oh yeah, I need to probably. Bye. I do have some water we bought. If you're going over there now to put that in, are you? Just curious. Let's ask you again. Are you gonna say? Does yes, master. Okay, no, you're not oh. adding me that time. So. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. But let's get a good night's sleep. Oh, next time we do have to get an ad, but all right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will leave off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.